What's up everybody, this is Aid, and today I'm going to be detailing my top 10 favorite games of 2021. Now I know I was going to, I was, I was supposed to do this on the 2nd of, the, of January, uh, but it's the 7th now, so you know, what can we do about it? Five days late. Does five days really matter in the grand scheme of things, okay? Does five days matter in the grand scheme of things? I don't think it does. Anyways, I just got out of the shower, so I'm still a little greased up, uh, but it's fine. Anyways, in 10th place. We have Deep Dead IO. I'm going to give the award to Deep Dead IO. I wanted to include Deep Dead IO on the list somehow. And I felt like there was just more games that were better than it. There was a lot of games that were better than it. But I was like, it deserves to have a place on the list. So I decided to give it 10th place. Deep Dead IO, the classic blocky fish game. It appeared on last year's list as well. I think it was in like 6th or 7th place. That's cool. Deep Dead IO is not my favorite game. Not, not even close. But, you know, it's a... It's a damn, it, it's pretty, it can be, it can be pretty damn fun, and it gets me a lot of views, so yeah, Deep Dead I.O., it's pretty cool, I'll play more of it this year, uh, but I haven't really, uh, I haven't really been playing it recently, but I will play more of it this year, eventually at some point, okay? Um, in ninth place, this is gonna be kind of a weird one, and you probably don't even remember me playing this game because the video got very little views, but Riddle Transfer 2 by John Bro. I'm gonna give it to this game because this I I come I'm, I'm kind of giving this to the entire Riddle School series because I played Riddle School four five Riddle Transfer two, one and two this year and I think that overall I think I, I it's kind of hard to pick which one's the best one but considering Riddle Transfer two was the last one in the series and it wraps everything up and in a beautiful way that, that is uh, I have to give it to it also fun little fact I played Riddle, Tra Riddle, Riddle Transfer two on the 15 year anniversary that it came out just a neat little. Or on a on the wait 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 no I played Road Transfer I either played it on the five year anniversary of it coming out or on the fifteen year anniversary of the first one coming out actually no it was both it's both because yeah I played it on the five year anniversary of Road Transfer two coming out but I also played it on the fifteen anniversary of Road School one coming out because they both came out ten years apart uh two thousand six two thousand sixteen so. Yeah, it's it's a beautiful ending to the Real School series, and uh, I have I, have, I heavily recommend you check out those games by John Bro. He also made uh, the One Night at Flimpty series, which is something that I kind of wanted to play for a while, but I haven't gotten around to it. Maybe I will uh, this year. Maybe I will this year. In eighth place, this is gonna be kind of a weird one, but I, I again, but I'm giving it to Pre Civilization Bronze Age. Now you'd probably only remember me playing this because I played it like at the beginning of the year in one video, but Pre Civilization Bronze Age is. In my opinion, a very, very, very fun, uh, cool math game, uh, game on cool math games. It's probably one of my favorite. It's probably one of the only. Re it's the only reason I go to cool math games every one, once in a while, just to play and beat Pre Civilization Bronze Age. I don't know why, but I've loved this game for years. I'll, I can always come back to it and have a good time. It's a great time. I heavily recommend you check it out on cool math games or somewhere else, probably all around the internet on all of those game sites. So yeah, I recommend you check it out. God, my hair is just doesn't want to cooperate. Okay, seventh place, Portal. I played Portal earlier this year. I made two videos on it. However, I didn't make a third episode in which I beat it. But, okay, I'm just gonna, okay, to explain the timeline better, I made, I recorded a session of Portal. I uploaded it. I recorded a session, a really long session of Portal where I beat the game. I only edited half of it and then uploaded it. And then at the end of the second episode, I put to be continued because I still had more footage of me playing Portal. I don't know where that footage is, so the video of me beating Portal is now lost forever, and oh, whoop de doo what am I going to do about it, but yeah, it's gone now, and I kind of want to go back just to beat it, like on camera, because I remember the ending was pretty good, it was, it, it's a very, it's a very good game, it's a very fun game, but it does like, it is, it is a puzzle solver, so I don't really like those types of games, but Portal still execute, ex executes it in a, in a well way, in a well right way. So yeah, I recommend you check Portal out. It's on Steam, and it's pretty old, so it doesn't really require any good graphics or anything. It's it. So yeah, it is what it is. In sixth place, I'm gonna put Helltaker. I played Helltaker at the very beginning of this year, uh, and I remember it was very fun. It was it was pretty difficult. I had to search it up. I had to search up some of the answers on how to do it. I forgot if I said it in the video or not. If I didn't, well, I'm exposing my past self. But if I did, yeah, I had to search it up because it was too hard. And the very very last battle, I could not finish it. I got really close, but I just could not do it. And I contemplated going back and finishing it because uh, I didn't fully finish the game. And I've contemplated going back and beating the really hard last stage. And if I am, I'm obviously I'm going to do it on camera and it will be this year. So yeah, stay tuned for that maybe.
Uh, in fifth place, I'm gonna give it to Uno, and not just and not particularly Uno, but Roblox Uno. I've had a lot of fun playing my, with my friends on this game, and I pl I made two videos on it, uh, and they actually both of them did pretty well, so I'm glad about that. But Uno is a very fun game. Uno, the rules are just, and you know, Uno, it's a good game. It's a very fun to do play with friends, and you can just go to it any time, and you'll have a good time. Uno. I love you, buddy. Okay, and fourth place, I'm giving it to Scribble.io. Um, Scribble.io is pretty much like you just draw something and your friends have to guess it. And the same in in the same way that Uno is really fun, it's all Scribble.io is also really fun because you can play with your friends and you can just hop in anytime and have a really good time. That's what I love about these games. Uh, I've I've played them a lot with my friends and it's been we've been having it's been a it's been a grand time. Okay, Scribble.io, it's very fun. And, um, yeah, I recommend you play it with your friends. And if you don't have any friends, well, then I feel bad for you. In third place, I'm going to give it to Getting Over It. Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy by Bennett Foddy is, a, in my opinion, an amazing game. Like, it's a, it's a masterpiece when it comes to its architecture and the way it was made and its controls. It's a beautiful game. I love it. And, um, I've... Dipped my hands in the getting in the getting over its speed running world, and I've gotten a time of three minutes and twelve seconds, which isn't really that good, but it's probably it's definitely better than the average person because the average person probably hasn't even played getting over it. So yeah, I'm pretty proud of that, but um, I haven't really been speed running it that much the last couple of months, but I promised to myself that I will start speed running it more this year, and uh, haven't really gotten on it that much, but I will do it, uh, like for sure, for sure. At some point. So yeah, getting over it. Really fun game. I recommend you check it out if you haven't played it. I recommend you play it if you haven't played it. Or watch YouTubers play it because that's also really entertaining. Or watch my playthrough on it if you haven't watched it. it was, it's very entertaining. In second place, I'm going to give it to Friday Night Funkin. <sighs> Friday Night Funkin. I played it a lot. I made a lot of videos on the game and the mods earlier this year. And it, I had a blast. In my opinion, it was very fun. Um, But I just... I didn't feel like playing any more mods. I felt like I played enough. And I am super excited to play the when the full ass game comes out. Because Kawhi Sprite, the musical artist for the game, I, in my opinion, he's very good at what he does. And he recently dropped the Dad Battle and Spooky's Erect remixes recently. And so that just gets me really, really excited and pumped for the, for the full game. And yeah, uh, it's going to be a blast. I'm going to play through that, that entire thing when that comes out. And... You're going to watch every second of it, right? And you're going to like it, and you're going to comment, and you're going to donate to me, and you're going to raise my kids. Anyways, in first place, who do we have in first place for 2021? The AU Awards. I think it's kind of obvious. It's Minecraft. Yeah. Um, Minecraft is the first game that I played this year, and I've just had a blast playing it. I recently lost my copy of Minecraft uh, because I forgot the password to my Mojang account. So, yeah, but I'll get it again soon, and I'll make more videos on it, and it's going to be a grand time, and you're going to love it, I'm going to love it, Minecraft is such an amazing game by Mojang, and I love it, and uh, Bed Wars is extremely fun, and Survival is just really fun, and Creative Mode is really fun, it's just every single aspect of Minecraft is amazing, and I can't wait to play it more. So yeah, that's my top 10 favorite games of 2021. Um... Did anything surprise you? Did anything not surprise you? Did you do you agree with my picks? Do you did uh, when a certain game? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Where? What's your top ten favorite games? Twenty twenty one. Anyways, I'm gonna end the video there. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'm just kind of making this video just because I feel obligated to after making one last year. So yeah. Anyways, with that, I'm gonna end the video and goodbye.